Hey everybody, welcome to Bloomfield Farm. I know we always show you the pretty part of this house, but today we are gonna go over the crappiest part of this house, which is the kitchen that was added about 1900. If you look under that porch, you will see a thing called a cistern, and unfortunately, it's causing our entire house to collapse back there. It is just the spookiest hole, and Rod has decided to fill it in, which is the smartest thing to do because it is quite a danger trap. But first, he had to start by tearing off our back porch, or at least portions of it. And um, so here it is, how he fixed the hole in the ground called a cistern. The reason we're doing this is because we have to fix our kitchen. In the corner of the house that we've partially rebuilt already, we were jacking it up. We knew this was here, but we thought we could get by with it, but we can't. So we're gonna have to fill this in. It's basically 12 feet deep. Try not to drop my camera down there. And eight feet diameter. And it goes up right underneath the corner of the house there. So we've got about 50 tons of uh, rock coming <laughs> to fill this tomorrow. And uh, that's what we're gonna do. We'd like to break out the bottom of it. It is solid. Um, I've poked a stick at it and I'm probably going to go down there and check it out too. Down in the cistern, trying to decide what we're going to do with it. Um, so there's the skylight going out. Our house is sitting right about here and as you can see I punched a hole in the side just to kind of see what it's made of and it's got like a heavy mortar um, probably not lime because that would have disintegrated under with water all the time but it's in still amazing shape and they dug it they just avoided the rocks and plastered around them instead of removing them and they added strength probably there's a crack that goes all the way around if you build a house on top of it over time this could slough in if the mortar breaks down and uh, then it would eventually just fill in and be a giant sinkhole. There's the old pump that they would pump out into the house. Oh, hey, ladder moved. That was fun. Uh, there's the top wall, which is basically just brick um, and some frogs and an old chair. So pretty exciting, pretty sad if we're going to fill this with rock, but we're kind of leaning that way. Anyway, we'll figure it out, and that's that. So they weren't able to get it up the hill because the road is a little backyard's a little slippery and muddy so we're going to get the bobcat to bring it up there the toy has arrived it's only a loner but it's going to be fun we done today here it comes now we can get some work done that might save my back Grappling bucket, soil bucket, and compactor. All right, a little bit of a learning curve with the Bobcat. It's been about 25 to 30 years since I've driven one. But anyway, here's our hole. I got a couple scoops in there. Only flipped it almost once <laughs> and almost drove it in the hole once. But uh, getting there, it's going to take some practice and some time and uh, patience. Well, we're getting there. We got the hole starting to fill it. And the Bobcat came uh, this morning. We kind of drug our feet doing a few other things, but uh, and the rock came the day before, about 40 or was it 45 tons? Um, and uh, the hole's filling up, was 12 feet deep, eight foot diameter. And I'm going to try to break out this other side here manually because I can't get the bobcat up in there. So 
uh, we've been filling the hole. I'm trying to see. So basically that's what we're doing, we're putting dirt in there. Like I said, it was uh, 12 feet deep. The reason we're doing this is because the house, it's really obvious now, is actually sitting on top of that cistern cap or the cap to the cistern. So that is totally unstable. And that side of the house has been sinking over time. You can see it's actually really cracked. Uh, so that's what we're doing is we're gonna fill this up and compact it really well. Once I get the soil up higher to this, I'll bust out the rest of that wall. But in the meantime, I gotta keep uh, this brick in place because it is actually holding up this side of the house. And what we're gonna do is get uh, the uh, compactor down the hole, I think. It weighs about a couple hundred pounds. Well, actually, I think I said 175 pounds. Boom. Okay. All right, well, I got a little interrupted by termite man today, but a uh, little trick I did a couple years ago, about 30 years ago, when you're filling the hole, you gotta come have to take the whacker out all the time and you just kind of make a step to move it up on. Works pretty well. We did pretty good today, except for, like I said, we got distracted at one point. We uh, got the hole pretty much filled in, uh, but I still got a whole bunch of, as Kim calls it, Jenga going on over here. I've shored up some uh, blocking under here just to try to hold this up. I've repositioned this beam, this post here, so that it can actually support the house. I think pretty scary still. All these are loose, so that means I can pull this out. The reason I need to go after that is because the boards in there might be too dark are all rotten. So the goal here is to disassemble this pier, fill this all and compact it so this is no longer soft dirt and there's no longer a cavity under there is the plan. Um, and then I'm going to slide, where the heck to go? Oh, this this uh, six by six pressure treated post through that cavity there and then set the house back down on it. That's the plan. I'm not sure how it's going to work. And um, I'm going to set the camera over here somewhere, but we'll see how this works. And hopefully the whole house doesn't fall on the camera. And I guess concerned about it falling on me as well. That should be good. <laughs> can fix it. Ta-da! He did it! And you know what's so weird? I know you guys won't think this is weird, but the house feels better. <laughs> I don't think she liked that under there. It made her feel crooked and sad and a little broken, like she had arthritis or something. So I'm really happy for her. Look at that, he did such a good job. Whew! He just saved a lot of money. I am so proud of him, how he took this whole situation under his thumb and he researched how to fill in a cistern so it doesn't crush out and to make sure that the house is gonna be okay. I know it looks like Jenga, everybody, but when you're trying to retrofit and fix a portion of a house that everyone in the world is telling you to tear down, 
<laughs> you really have to get creative and he he did here but he made sure that the cistern was filled in properly and the good news is we've got a spring house and another well straight down the hill so when you guys come to visit you won't miss out on anything the cistern will not be missed that's for sure except for maybe by a few frogs <laughs> all right you guys well thank you so much for watching and um, stay tuned please like and subscribe our videos and if you hit the bell then you will get notified every time we post a new one so anyway have a great day Day. Goodbye from Bloomfield. Oh, hello! Hello! How are you? Oh, okay. Well, next time I'll bring goodies.